Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting June 6, 2016. And this is for Virgo. Um, and so as always, please keep an open mind. These are general readings only and so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. Um, if you'd like a private reading, just follow the link in the description box below. And for now, use your intuition and take away the messages that do resonate with you, that do make sense for you and where you are um, in your life at this time. Um, so for Virgos, okay, the overall energy of the week, we have the five of summer. And this is telling you that you should trust that there is a reason for everything that happens this week. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others and you may be focusing on what frightens you or worries you this week and there is a need for a shift in your perspective this week. The Five of Summer is talking about the fact that we have new opportunities coming in. However, we may be focusing on the past and the things that we cannot change anymore. And so we may, may, may end up just missing those opportunities altogether, okay? So for the for this week, it's very, very important that you um, are mindful that you may be oversensitive. Um, and also, try to shift your perspective in everything you do. Try to look for the opportunity as, in, as opposed to what's not working or what's not happening or what you don't have, okay? It's very, very important. I feel like your entire week is going to be better or not so good depending on your perspective on things okay i feel like no matter what happens this week if you try to keep an upbeat attitude and look at everything in terms of okay how can i turn this around for the better and not oh my god this is happening um it's going to be a, a really okay week for you guys okay so you just have to be mindful of your emotional self that's all in career, we have a similar energy, career and finances. We have the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups talks about being bored, being discontent, okay? Being unhappy with the way things are going. You're just focusing on those three cups, and these are things that have already happened, and there's nothing that you can do to change them, okay? They are what they are, and you're, that's all you're focusing on. So you may end up missing this Ace of Cups energy that is coming in from behind you, okay because you're just focusing on these three cups okay you're just not seeing that so the four of cups is the card that, that talks about missed opportunity okay and it talks about missed opportunity because of exactly what we've covered okay you are focusing on the things that do not work or it did not work things that you can't change anymore crying over spilled milk kind of energy when in reality there's so many opportunities that are coming for you now okay they're becoming available to you this week it's very very important that you keep your eyes open and you keep your attitude positive and upbeat so that you can see these opportunities when they are presented to you and that you can act on them okay with this um this is actually the ace of cups okay in the four of cups card this is the ace of cups coming in from behind you and this means blessings from the universe okay so you have to be open to receiving these because otherwise you're going to miss the opportunity altogether okay and you don't want to do that so for this week, this could be um, an opportunity that presents um, itself to you completely unexpectedly, out of the blue, from, a, from an unexpected source and at an unexpected time. Your attitude is key, okay? I cannot explain this enough. Your attitude is key um, because you need to be open to seeing opportunities in order to be able to see this blessing coming and act on it, okay? Um, because you have a lot of opportunities coming to you this week in terms of career and finances. You just have to be open to seeing them. In home and family, we have the Six of Wands. And so with the Six of Wands, um, there is a sense with the Five of Summer and the Six of Wands, there is a sense of loss. Um, however, the Six of, of Wands stands for victory. So this could be um, someone leaving the home because they have a new job that they're celebrating or they have a new career that they're starting that they have to travel for relocate for um new studies okay they're getting into a different study program or they're starting um a new course new university college anything like that and so they're very very proud about it and it's a big accomplishment and they may have to travel for it and so that's why with the five of summer you could be feeling a sense of loss in the family um but again, it's up to you what you want to focus on because ultimately this is a very positive thing. This is a celebration. This is a happy time in the family. Um, so yes, you know, this child or partner or 
sibling or whoever it is in your family will be leaving home and you're not going to get them get to see them as much however um this is a very big deal for them and so celebration for everyone okay so try to focus on the positive once again okay try to focus on the positive you could be uh, traveling this week but I f more than that I feel like there's someone um, someone else is doing the traveling and you feel left behind or there's a kind of an empty nest syndrome type energy that's happening okay so I mean don't dwell on things you know things happen when they're supposed to happen okay and if it's children leaving the nest you know that is ultimately a good thing and you know that so just try to focus on that okay don't don't feel just don't focus on that sense of loss it's not a real loss okay it's just a change that's happening okay in um love life and emotional life we have the tower so the tower talks about a shake-up when it comes to your love life um, and this is something, again, that is completely unexpected. Um, and this is a major arcana card. So I feel like there are going to be some big changes happening in love relationships. Again, these are general readings. So if your relationship is solid and it's fine, and this obviously does not apply to you. So try to keep an open mind, okay? Um, so with the tower, this is usually um, the kind of energy that happens when we think we're going one way with our partner. And in reality, we're going separate ways. And so the tower shows up to show us that okay to make us aware of that fact and with the five of summer there may be a sense of loss um either there is a, a breakup that is happening or there's a sense of loss because you realize that you thought that you will you were building something that was solid and would last and in reality um when the tower comes in all of this is going to be knocked down because it wasn't really true okay or it wasn't what you thought it was um also i feel like there's some confessions that are happening in terms of love life um that you know obviously you did not expect these messages and once again you feel a sense of loss and disappointment and, and extreme sadness however again you know these things have already happened you cannot change the past so um it's not easy but you can either dwell on that or you can try to take a deep breath and you know grieve for a little bit or be upset for a little bit but then try to move on from that situation try to change that situation around for the better so that it doesn't affect you and it doesn't cause you pain anymore and for some of you i feel like this could be your partner that is moving out you're either breaking up or more importantly with the six of wands they have to travel or they they're telling you that they have to relocate for work or that the both of you have to relocate for work, okay? And this is completely out of the blue. It is an ultimate, ultimately a positive event. However, your entire life is going to change. So that may be why the Five of Summer is in your general energy. For those of you who are single, I feel like um, you're you're breaking down some old beliefs that you have about yourself in terms of love life. So if you feel, if you have felt that you're not good enough for someone or uh, that you're never going to find love i feel like you have a revelation you have an epiphany this week that makes you see things from a different perspective and helps you decide to take control of your life and be more confident and let go of the things that have happened and you cannot change and focus on the new and positive okay in um general health and well-being we have the king of wands and the king of wands with the five of summer i feel like for this week with your general health and well-being um i feel like you're going to have a lot of energy but you're not really going to know what to do with it and so ultimately uh, it may end up burning you out and it may turn into anxiety and frustration because i feel like there's a lot of energy within you that needs to come out and unless you express it in a productive way in a creative way and and create something with that energy and get things going with that energy it's going to end up making you feel anxious, stress, uh, stressed, overly um, excited to the point where you're too tired to sleep. Okay, that kind of energy. Um, because I do feel like you're going to be strong this week. You're going to have a lot of physical uh, strength and a lot of um, excitement and energy. But if you focus on things that you can't change and you're being static 
okay, because you're looking towards the past, you're not doing anything. This is going to end up consuming you and wearing yourself out this week, okay? So do your best to be creative and, and constructive this week. Uh, spend a lot of time outdoors. Try to do some, some physical activities, play some games, jog, go for hikes, walks, anything like that. Try to keep yourself moving this week because otherwise I feel like you're going to burn yourself out, okay, with all this energy that you have built in. And you need to release that tension in a, in a productive way. Otherwise, it's going to just take you over and just burn you out, okay? Guidance message for you, we have synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flows. So I feel like, because we were talking about blessings from the universe coming your way with the Ace of Cups, this is exactly, you know, that kind of energy where a lot of things are happening this week that are meant to happen, okay? The first thing that the Five of Summer says that things happen for a reason. And so I feel like that's the kind of energy that you need to be in this week. Whatever happens, again, try to look at, at, at it in terms of, okay, will this happen? What can I do about it? Or why did this happen? Why? What am I supposed to learn from this? And what can I do about it? Okay, don't allow yourself to be stuck in one place and, you know, kept there by anything that happens. I feel like you're going to receive a lot of messages, signs, symbols from the universe this week. A lot of, uh, you know, repeating numbers and texts and messages and music and, and at, you know, on TV and anything like that. You're being guided this week towards your blessings. But it's very important that you... Um, get out of this attitude of, of boredom in order to see these messages and be able to act on them. You will also have the energy to act on these messages. But again, it's up to you and the, the attitude that you have uh, towards everything that is happening this week, okay? But it should be a very lucky week for you also and a very positive week in terms of things just coming together for you. But you have to be in the right state of mind, okay? So there you have it. That's the message for you, Virgos, for next week, for the week of June 6th. Um, I hope it helps you. Okay, let me know if it does. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you have a beautiful week and I will talk to you soon. Take care.